before we start, I want to explain that this is a small part of a new course that I recently released. And if you would like to make an animated character from start to finish, then click on the link down below. So what do we have here? We have a sphere, two halves of a sphere with a thickness on it. We have our bone that rotates and makes our eyes uh, blink, so our eyelids go up and down. And we have a bone that is set to a tracking to the eyes, so the eyes track this bone. Awesome, so let's do this. We're gonna create a UV sphere. And I always like this part to be the iris. So I'm gonna rot rotate this for 90 degrees around the X axis. And I'm gonna add a armature. We're gonna move this around the Y axis here. We faked that this was the iris, right? And I can actually very quickly make this a iris color. When you have created the color for the eyes and the iris itself, then just go into the material tab, add a new material and assign those vertices to the material. So now we have our iris there. And we want this iris to look at our bone. So we're going into this eye, which we should also call eyeball. And we're gonna give this a constraint. So if you go here, into con context object constraints you can click on this tracking and track to so we can track to this bone and you can see that it goes upwards it now looks upwards we don't want that right and this is because we did not apply our rotation remember in the beginning we rotated this 90 degrees so click on ctrl a and apply the rotation so now um, the rotation is good and you can see that now it doesn't look at the top but it looks, looks at the back so we can actually just do minus Y and now it will track wherever our little bone is see awesome so we should duplicate this shift D because we need our eyelids and I'm going to rotate this for 90 degrees around the X axis and you can see that they are both the same that is annoying. Well, it's because we have still have the tracking onto this. So we need to delete the armature out of our duplicated version. We call our duplicate, let's call it eyelid for now. And we're going in here and I'm gonna select half of it. So go into wireframe mode, click on B, select this all, and then P, separate selection. So now we have two separated parts. I'm gonna call this eyelid The eyelid bot bottom and this eyelid will be eyelid top both these eyelids I want to give a thickness so I'm gonna hide my eyeball for a second and I'm gonna give this a thickness so you can actually just go into the modifier solidify and make it solid and if you want the same exact um, modifier on this one, you can select this one first, then this one. Click Ctrl L and modifiers. Now you can see that they have the same modifier. Awesome. So when we put our eyeball back, we can see that, well, we can't see it anymore, right? And it's behind these eyelids. So I want another bone in here, which will be that opens our eyelids. So I'm going to do an armature. Make sure it's in the middle here, GY, and I want to rotate this for 90 degrees around the x-axis, just so it lays like this. Now I of course have to apply the rotation again, so Ctrl A, rotation. So how do we make these open? Well, we can go in here, select this one, go into the constraints. Uh, we don't need a track tool on the eyelids, but we're gonna have a copy rotation. And also on the other one, delete the track tool and do copy rotation. So now we want to copy the rotation of this ball. And we of course need to apply the rotation of both of these eyelids because we rotated it. So as you can see, they both just rotate with it. So it doesn't open. The bottom one, we should invert the X axis. 
So if we rotate this, you can see that it opens. The problem now is, if we just want to rotate it, it also rotates around every axis. So I want to put some constraints on this bone itself. I'm actually going to just go here to item and stop the rotations around Y and Z. Just lock them so they can't rotate. And now you just have to click on R. You don't have to click on RX or something like that. So just R opens it already. Awesome. We want two of these eyes, of course. So I'm going to duplicate all of this plus the bones. So I'm just going to do go into wireframe mode, select them all, shift D, and then uh, move them a bit around. Cool. And now you can see that we can open them both separately and also move our eyes. But in real life, your eyes move at the same place. So what I want to do is I want to select these both, shift S and cursor to select it, just so our 3D cursor goes in the middle of this. Why do I do this? Well, I want to add another armature in here. I'm going to scale this a bit up so we see some difference between them. And I'm going to make these parents. So I'm going to select the small ones first and then the big one, Control P and set parent to object. So if I now move this one, you can see that, let me also look at the eyes. You can see that the eyes move with it. Awesome, right? And you can also do it separately. So if you have like a weird funny animation that the one eye like keeps rolling, then you have that option as well. Cool. And what about these eyelids? Well, the same. So you click to select them both, cursor to select it, and then an armature. I want to rotate this as well, 90 degrees. Scaled a bit up so we see some difference between them. And I'm gonna do this also. Apply our rotation. So also of these, we should click on Control P, set parent to object. Okay, so also for this one, I want to lock our Y and the Z and now we can just open our eyes like this. Awesome. So we can open our eyes and look around wherever we want. So how do we create a cartoony eye from this, um, yeah, this rounder eye? What you want to do is you want to select the eyeball, shift S and curse to select it. Then shift A to make a lattice. And you can see it now because we got it scaled up. And I would recommend you scaling it up bigger than uh, the eyeballs and the eyelids are. So select an eyeball, go to add modifier, and let's add a lattice modifier. We can also do this for all the other ones. And make sure you select this lattice as our object there. So um, lattice object and also our lower eyelid. So with the lattice, you have a new object data for the lattice and you can change some stuff here. So I would like to put this at three. doesn't matter too much, but yeah, I want a little bit more control over our lattice. And you can see that it just kind of, yeah, subdivides. So you can go into edit mode and when you just scale up or down, you can see that you can already move your lattice around. So I'm going to scale it around the Y axis. And as you can see here, we already have a nice and a more warped eye. Maybe scale it around the Z axis a bit. And as you can see here, we have a nice cartoony eye. So do our bones still work? Yes, they work perfectly. And you can, of course, put a texture in this eye. Um, you got to be a bit careful with it because it will transform um, yeah because we got some stretching going on here so uh, be careful with how you're doing that put some more time into that but um, yeah hope you guys learned something from this